Assalamu alaikum, my name is Naeem Raza and welcome to another exciting episode of Street Challenge. Where are we today? Well, let me give you some clues. First and foremost, there's a street here called Greek Street, named after a number of Greek Christians arrived here in the 1670s. On top of that, the area is full of some of the cutest art shops, fabric clothing, textiles, as well as some of the film companies based in this fantastic area. Let me give you some more clues. There is a street here called Firth Street, which was called Froth Street in the 1950s due to the number of milky bars and cafes. And final clue for the day of course this is the old hunting ground of king henry the eighth when they used to see a deer they spied they went on to kill it they used to say tally ho and if it's something smaller they used to say soho that's exactly where we are welcome to soho and another challenge let it begin What's your name? My name is Danica. Paul. Richard. Greg. Susie. Chris. Christo. Javier. Chris. My name's Derek. Richard. It's Mike. Uh, Renata. Renata Carver. And where are you from? London. London. Polish. London. Holland. Spain. I'm English. London. Slovakia. London. China. Essex. Germany. And what do you do? I work for a leather company. I'm a celebrity booker. Computers. Market research. I'm a DJ. Market research. I work in sexual health. I'm a photographer. Waiter. I'm a student. Uh, studying PhD. Uh, working commercials. Master students. Muslims should eat and drink with their right hand. Is that true or false? True. True. Uh, it's. I would think false. <laughs> yes. See, I, I would say false, but I think it might be true. It's false. But that's really specific. I think that's a really specific thing. But I, I'm going to say false. Yes. I think. I don't know. Um, false. Yeah. Yes, yeah, true. I think it's false. False. It must be true. I'm going to say you can use either hand. I will go with this. Any reason why? Because, I don't know, is it, is it true then? Well, I think they are allowed to eat with one hand, and I think the, it's the right one. Yeah, I think so. You're only allowed to, to uh, um, use that hand for eating and drinking food, and the left hand is for everything else. Yes, I mean, I know, I've, I've been to... Uh, I, I've actually done a load of work with Catteries and, you know, the, sits around and eats with her right hand, so I'm not sure about the drinking part, but definitely eating with the right hand, yeah. Well, it's not something I've heard before. I'm not so I've noticed. It is true. Yeah. It is the right hand. It is. It's true. OK, well, it's true. <laughs> is it? Yeah. They should use their right hand for eating and drinking, the left hand for all the other things. It's true. It is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Well done. Fantastic. That'll do for me, indeed. It's the right hand. A companion of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, reported the Prophet as saying, When any one of you intends to eat meal, he should eat with his right hand. And when he intends to drink, he should drink with his right hand. For Satan eats with his left hand and drinks with his left hand. In Islam, a woman is married for her religion, her wealth, her family status, or her beauty. Which out of the three should men go for? Her religion, her wealth, or her beauty? Her, her religion. I think definitely for her religion. It depends on him, I guess. Religion? I imagine they prob probably marry for, for religion. Her religion. Religion. Prob um, her religion? No idea. <laughs> Religion. Religion. Well, yes, Re religion. It would either be wealth or religion. Well, I'd say it would be religion first. I would have thought. Which one do you think? Top. Religion be, reli being the top. Sure. Oh, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, no. Her beauty. I, I would say her beauty, actually. 
if he's a, if he's attracted to her. Oh, you know, you're putting me in a hooker position. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just stick by my guy. I'm gonna say B. It should be the religion. Why do you say that? Because if she has that, she's probably got wealth and beauty to go with. Oh, <laughs> like it. A woman who believes you have the same religion makes for a wonderful marriage. I don't think, I don't think you're, you can marry like another religion, can you? Mm. Uh, not unless they convert to yeah, Islam. religion. It's quite a strong reason. Because I don't think they'd marry someone who wasn't the same religion as them. So they're not really allowed to. Is that right? What would you go for? I guess of those three, for me, it'd be beauty. I would definitely go for beauty. Money. <laughs> it's actually meant to be religion. It is. Okay. It's definitely the first answer. Religion is at the top. Yeah. It is, it is religion. <laughs> of course, religion is very important to the Muslims. It's the right answer. It is religion. Mm. So I said religion. Yeah. It is the right answer. <laughs> OK. <laughs> is that what your husband went for? I'm afraid not. My husband was Jewish and I'm German. Ah. ah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, A woman is married for four things. Her wealth, her family status, her beauty and her religion. So you should marry the religious woman, otherwise you will be among the losers. Where do Muslims come from? Do they come from Pakistan, Morocco, from Saudi Arabia, or everywhere? Everywhere. Certainly all of those. All over the place. I think everywhere. 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 Well, oh, all I of those three. All of those three, and more. Oh, well, all of those. There's Muslims in all of those countries. Everywhere. There's even Muslims where I'm from, so everywhere. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them. Everywhere. I mean, you mean, you're quite original, like origins, or just generally? Just generally, everywhere. Uh, they started in the southern, uh, southern part of Europe and in, in Arabia, and then they probably uh, went east, emigrated to uh, in, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, via uh, Persia, Afghanistan, etc. You got that right. That's fine. That's, a, that's an easy question. That one. That'll do for me. That'll do for me. Happy. Good. Well done. Fantastic. Good man. That'll do for me. They do. They come from everywhere. Fantastic. Do you know your history? Men are seen as superior to women in Islam. Is that true or false? I want to say true. Uh, true. But that's only because of what I've been fed, so I'm going to say true. I'm not sure that. That's a dicey one. I think true, true. I think theoretically, yes. No, it's false. I think women have equal right under in the Quran. Practically, I think if you want a happy home, you probably have to let the woman run the home. False. That's just the, the, the impression that we're given. They are seen as superior. Um, but yeah. I'm not sure if that's true. False. True. False. I would think it definitely shouldn't be true. Pause. It, it might be true, yes. I think they might be segregated, but I don't think they're superior. Any idea why you say that? From my experience with uh, working with, with uh, Muslims, then the men do. They are superior to. to uh, it seems there are a lot of restrictions on what women can do, what they cannot, but it doesn't apply that much to men. Well, as far as I'm aware, uh, women have no access to some legal things as, I don't know, driving. I know they have limitations on this aspect. It's just common sense, isn't it, really? That men are superior. No, that, that's what that religion thinks. Why do you say it's false? Because uh, I think that it's not said anywhere in Quran or so on. Yeah. That's the right answer. Men are not superior to women. They are actually equal but have complementary roles. But you are right in that unfortunately people do in certain countries and certain cultures, women are restricted, oh, but it's not according to religion. Oh, yes. Okay. The right answer is yours. They are not superior. 
you read the Quran? No. But you know a bit about it, that is the right answer. Muslims regard Jesus as what? The prophet, as a son of God, or they don't believe in him? They do believe in him. I think they, um... Do that? I don't know, oh my God, um... Not a prophet. I'm sure that... Maybe they don't believe in him then. But I think they do believe in him. He's the son of God, but what do Muslims think? I think Muslims don't believe in Jesus. I'm sure that... Maybe they don't believe in him then. Um, as a prophet? But I think they do believe in him. I think they do believe in him. A uh, prophet. Well, I know that Christianity, he's a son of God. But is it the same? I don't know. I don't know. As a prophet? A uh, prophet. A prophet? Prophet. Yeah. They don't believe in him. A prophet. Is the name not Isa? Wow! How do you know that? It's <laughs> really good. Yeah, it's a prophet. Just don't believe. They just don't believe he is the son of God. Um, well, it's an Abrahamic religion, so I would say a prophet. I don't think they believe in him. It's a prophet. I think they don't believe in him. How do you know that? I just read it somewhere. So the Muslims saw the the the, the, the Jewish prophets and Jesus and so on before Islam as being prophets, but not not the son of God. If I go by by uh, Judaic uh, um, by history, uh, he was a prophet. It is a right answer. He is seen as a prophet. <laughs> Indeed, it is a right answer. He's also classed as somebody who'll come back before the end of time, and he's mentioned more times in the Quran than Muhammad. It is a prophet. There's no son of God in Islam. It's the right answer. <laughs> Abraham is a prophet. Fantastic. It's the right answer. I'm, I'm impressed you even knew the Arabic name. Wrong answer. Jesus is mentioned more times in the Quran than Muhammad. I didn't know. And he's coming back before the end of time and Muhammad isn't. And they say that Jesus is still alive. It is the right answer. Well done. Muslims respect and revere Jesus, peace be upon him. They consider him one of the greatest of God's messengers to mankind. The Qur'an confirms his virgin birth and a chapter of the Qur'an is entitled Maryam, Mary, Mother of Jesus. What is the national Islamic dish for Muslims? Is it vindaloo curry? Is it couscous? Is it Ramadan? Or they don't have one? It's not going to be vindaloo curry. That's like, that's an English national dish, isn't it? I don't know if they have one. It's not couscous. I don't know. Oh, couscous it could be. I don't think there is one. I don't think they have one. Well, if there is a dish named Ramadan, that must be this one. Oh, man. You can't have a religious food, can you? Well, Ramadan's a holiday. Not a dish. Not a dish. I don't think they have one. I wouldn't say they have one. They don't have one. It's all dependent on where they're from. Well, it's certainly not Vindaloo. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to go with so much confidence. I'm going to say no. I don't think it's a national dish. No. I don't really know. They probably don't have one. It's general, isn't it? Mm. Well, they eat a lot of couscous, but I'm not sure if it's national. Maybe none of them. Might be couscous. I don't know. Ramadan is a is a period of fasting from uh, uh, January or whatever. That's not a dish. I don't think they have one. Let's go for couscous. <laughs> couscous? Uh, don't know. No. Should have stopped with none of them. <laughs> <laughs> you are the right. There's no such thing as a national dish. It's none of them. Stay with confidence, the right answer. It's true, there is no such thing. They don't have one. Yay! <laughs> it's the right answer. It's they don't have answer. one. It's the right answer. It's the right answer. Uh. In Islam, what parts of the body men must cover? Is it from neck to their toe, belly button to knees, or head to knees? Belly button to knees. Neck to toe. I think from head to the knees. I say the neck to the knees. I think from neck to their toes. Belly button. Belly button to knees. Head to knees. Neck to toe. Yes, you wear a... This is 
men we're talking about. Oh, men! Oh, gosh! <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> OK, really? I don't know. So this is difficult because I live in London and the weather here is so rubbish <laughs> it should be, it's always going to be, everyone, regardless of your religion, neck to, t to toes. I would say belly button to, to the, the lower part. But if you're in a hot Muslim country, maybe it's to the knees. From, yeah, from neck, neck down. It's not head, because you can't see. You, you, you know, you won't be able to see anything if you have your head covered. No Muslim women have to cover their heads, but not men. Head to knees. I'm going to stick with neck to toe. Why do you say that? Just because I'm from what I've seen. <laughs> I've, seen, yeah, I've, seen I've seen lots of shirtless Muslims yeah. on my travels. I have, I've never seen a man walk down the street completely covered up. Yeah, that's why you have that uh, flowing gown. Just guess. Why would you say that? Well, I've seen them walking around at airports in Dubai. I'll do. It is belly button to knees. That's the minimum. Oh, OK. Minimum cover. It's actually the belly button to the knees. That's the minimum coverage. They must cover from the belly button to the knees. Really? Minimum. Minimum. Nice. That'll cover. do for me. <laughs> belly button to knees. Oh, it's a good guess. It's the belly button to the knees. They must cover that. <laughs> That's the minimum. They must cover from belly button to knees. Minimum. Muslims pray to? Is it to Muhammad? To Buddha? Is it God or Jesus? Yeah, maybe a couple of them. Oh, it's to God. Maybe um, to God. I'm going to sound like a really do. I'm going to say Muhammad. But I think it's probably Muhammad. I'm going to say Muhammad. 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 That's a sticky question, isn't it? I think Muhammad was a prophet, prophet, a prophet. so it's probably so it's God. God. Well, they pray to God, which whose name is Allah. I think they pray to God, not to Muhammad. To God? To Allah, who is God. I would have thought Allah, but that's not one of the, the options. To Allah? God. How do you know that? Well, this is the Muslim God, obviously. Um, it seems we're a fairly well-held tennis. You know, it's, it's over the door of the mosques and everything. Saying that that Muhammad is God's messenger. Okay, I don't think they, I think Muhammad is is a medium, not God. It's actually God. It is God. That's Muhammad is a prophet. Muhammad is a prophet. Yeah, it's the right answer. Okay. It's actually God Himself. They don't pray to Muhammad. They pray to God, who is also known as Allah. It's the right answer. It's the right answer. Well done. Same as God. That'll do. Yep, it is the right answer. Muslims believe that God. Allah is one and incomparable and that the purpose of existence is to worship God alone. Allah is the creator of all that is in the heavens and the earth, and there is nothing else worthy of worship. In the Quran it says, Say, He is Allah, the one and only. Allah, the eternal, absolute. لم يلد ولم يولد. He begetteth not, nor is he begotten. ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. And there is none like unto him. Cows are seen as sacred in Islam. Is that true or false? What? False. That's Hindu. I have to say false. False. I don't know. Um, is this a trick question? I don't know. They aren't they seen as the opposite? Like, not good? I mean, it, it's Hindu that has cows as, as the sacred animal. No? They are holy. Are they holy? I assume see Muslims killing cows in my country, so it can't be that holy. Um, so I, 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 I don't think cows are particularly sacred. I don't think they are. They're nothing. nothing. They're not anything. They're just a cow, aren't they? I don't know. Is it true or false? Cows are sacred. Cows are sacred in India. Uh, false. sacred in India, aren't they? In Islam? No. I say true. False. Hindu. Hindu. Yes. <laughs> well, I say false. I, I think it's false. 
But in India, it is yeah. sacred, right? Yeah, yeah, it's not the Muslim country. <laughs> but <laughs> it's false. Any reason why you say false? It's India where they are the, the sacred, where you got out of the way of cows. Uh, well, I know in India, yes, but wouldn't apply this to Muslim religion. Good answer. Lovely. They're not seeing the sacred. They're not sacred. It is the right answer. Thank you. That is right. It's a Hindu culture. That'll do for me. It is the right answer. Sadly, we come to the end of another exciting episode of Street Challenge from Soho. What can I say about people in Soho? They were very artistic, very creative and very friendly. However, they were a little bit confused about the rights of women in Islam. And that unfortunately really is our own fault for not treating our sisters equally as we should do. For the next time, let me remind you, please drop us a tweet, send us a message on Facebook, drop us an email about the challenges and locations or maybe somewhere you'd like us to be. Until then, for myself, Naeem Raza, every street challenge, it's Salaamu Alaikum, and as King Henry VIII would say, tally ho. There's a street here called Greek Street, which is named after Greece. Until the next time, please don't. What? Pésame, pésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche, la última vez. We have a small prize for you to keep you on your errands. You want to dip your hand in here? Oh. <laughs> I look, sorry. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Fantastic. Dip your hand in there and take that away with you, whatever you fancy. Thank you very much. That's very Welcome. kind of you. Put your hand in there. Oh, thank you. And enjoy your day, sir. Thank you very much. And for yourself, sir, a little sweetie. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys. Thank you very enjoy your much. Day. Lovely. Thank you. A little something for you to take with you. Like a sweet. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Enjoy yourself. Oh. I'll keep you going with your coffee or sugar rush. Carbs, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> great. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Pleasure. Nice. Okay. And one for Thank you, sir. You. Oh. Thank you very much and enjoy your stay in London. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely.